Every week, David Chancellor goes looking for the best stories from public schools here. And this week, he found a student that hit the reset button on his life, thanks to his dad, to Southside High School, and to the teachers who helped shape his journey. To see him walk the halls of Southside High School, you'd never know the burden he carries or the dreams he envisions. For me, I know personally that he could have gone a totally different route and coming here really did save his life. Ask Robert Posada what he loves in life and he blurts out two things quickly, family and welding. Oh, and friends. The guy moved here two years ago from Riverside, California, and he made friends quicker than he thought with some of the most unlikely people. I came over here and it was like, it was pretty hard for me to make at least one friend. I appreciate all my teachers that I had last year and this year too as well, because each one of them is just like a friend to me and it's like more than a friend, it's just like a family. Ask him what home feels like and he'll tell you anywhere that's safe because growing up in Southern California was something completely different. It's just, it's dangerous to be out there because you don't know if there's gonna be something happen to you, you know? You don't know if you're gonna live. It's, kind of, it's unsafe, unsafe walking over there at the streets and plus the people over there that are doing drugs and stuff, gang violence. You don't know if there's gonna be a bully or miss bully over there. So he and his dad moved here. A job for dad, a future for Robert. My mom told me, I'm telling you, you want to go with him or you want to stay with us? And I started thinking, I can't just leave my dad lonely over there. He might need some help, you know. He found that safe place and something equally as valuable. He found his calling. He's an AB student. He joined the welding program, the Historical Society. He even signed up to help with the district food pantry. It was in a situation where he could still go back. And I had that sense that if he went back, he probably wasn't going to finish school. And so from the beginning, I always tried to make sure that he felt comfortable in the classroom. And this was a safe space that whatever he said stayed here. It worked because Robert worked at it. He will graduate this spring, the first member of his family to do so, an honor he takes to heart and one that nearly moves him to tears. It's, uh, I, don't, I don't know how to say it, to be honest. I could, I could say it from the inside, but like, I don't know how to like, get it out of my heart. And I'm excited that I'm gonna be the first one to graduate. My dad didn't graduate, my mom didn't graduate, so like, they're looking up to me though. But it's, it's really hard how to say it, like, I don't, I don't know how to express it. Life's good. The rest of Robert's family, his mom, brother, two sisters, they're all moving here sometime in the next month. The family reuniting to see Robert graduate from high school, and then next fall he will begin taking college courses at St. Phillips. You can see all of our Go Public stories on my Facebook page, and you can follow Go Public on social media at WeGoPublic. I'm David Chancellor, News 4 San Antonio.